Mr. Sean Turner! guy is okay. That's good to know. Uh, my name's Sean. Uh, I'll tell you a bit about myself. I am recently single. Um, and uh, I know. Cheers. Thank you. Towards here at the end, we'll be alright. Uh, I'm recently single, but I had a, a really awkward moment recently. Uh, I've been single for about a couple of weeks. And uh, I bumped into my old girlfriend on a date. And we had a really awkward, like, hug. Oh, it was horrific. And I came back, because it was in a pub. I came back to my old friend. And uh, it was like, hey, are you all right? Like, how awkward are you feeling? I said, mate, to be honest, seeing your old girlfriend on a date is a bit like when you see your old car being driven on the road. It's new to the driver, but you know you've had way more fun in it. I, as I say, I'm recently single. Did we all have a good summer? By the way. No. Well, well, delayed reaction there. Delayed reaction on the summer. I absolutely loved the summer. I thought it was terrific. Obviously, we had the Olympics on. Uh, and uh, I've, I, I actually pay special attention to the Paralympics because I myself uh, have got a minor medical condition called cerebral palsy. Uh, and my old teacher rang me up. And she said, Sean, Sean, I've got a brilliant idea. Why don't you enter the Paralympics? And I said, well, let me take you back to sports day. <laughs> I couldn't even beat the fat kid. <laughs> There's no chance I'll be very good at that. As I say, I've got, uh, I've, I, I've got something called uh, cerebral palsy. And uh, since I've become a stand-up comedian, my mum said the sweetest thing the other day. She said, and she got me to one side. She said, Sean, Sean, you know, if you make it, I've got a brilliant idea. Your first DVD, call it Cerebral Lolzy. <laughs> I think that's brilliant. That's so cool. Um, as I say, like sometimes having cerebral palsy does get me into a few awkward situations. Like, uh, uh, last year I was walking through Leicester Town and uh, I got stopped by a Jehovah's Witness. And uh, I'm, I always make two mistakes with Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, mistake number one is uh, I engage them in conversation. <laughs> uh, mistake number two is I always give them honest answers to things. So, uh, excuse you. Um, so, uh, when, when this Jehovah's Witness uh, spoke to me, she said, Oh, excuse me, mate, do you believe in God? And I said, No, I don't believe in God uh, because I've got cerebral palsy and I don't see how a loving God can do that. And she said to me that I should feel blessed. Blessed. Blessed to have cerebral palsy. I say it's cerebral palsy, not the fucking force. I reckon I'd make a better Jedi than you and McGregor anyway, though, to be fair. So I'd, <laughs> I'd say the best thing about like, one thing, um, I, I stumble quite a lot. So going to the SU is always fun on drunken nights out because sometimes I see you all trolling out the SU and stumbling everywhere. And I think, yeah, welcome to my world. <laughs> welcome to my world. Right. Um, I, I've uh, just hesitated. Sorry. Uh, as I say, I, I'm recently single, but that means I can bitch about uh, one of my old girlfriends to you. That's what I'm going to do now. Um, like when, when it was like, it was weird because for a few months the relationship was going downhill. And uh, to be honest, ladies, the sex life wasn't great. I mean, I'm not saying it was me, but uh, I was trying with motor skills. Uh, it can be horrible, and uh, uh, she, she noticed this, and uh, she said, oh, Sean, what we're going to do one time 
uh, we're going to try some role play. And uh, I thought, oh, yeah, that's great. I can go with that. I feared the worst, to be honest, when I came home and saw a prime art bag. I thought, uh, this ain't go down, gonna go down very well. And she came out and she was dressed in a tiger onesie. <laughs> so I want to have sex, not go on safari. <laughs> no matter how much you pay me, I'm not shagging Tiggy. <laughs> but like, the, the night pro progressed there. Uh, and she decided to give me a treat. She uh, used her hands um, down there. <laughs> and uh, she slipped and she punched me in my left testicle. <laughs> and I said, I thought I was the one with the most skill difficulties. <laughs> I, I'm going to take you back. I, I joked about school earlier. And when I was at school, I got interviewed. Uh, we had interviews for prefects and being deputy head, but we were a very posh school. And uh, I got interviewed by someone to be uh, a deputy head boy. And uh, the first thing, it was the deputy head teacher, and the first thing he said to me, he said, Sean, you have uh, quite an aggressive nature. I thought, this took me back. And I didn't know how to answer for a while until I opened my mouth and I said, to be honest, eh, Unless I'm fighting a fat kid with one arm, I don't fancy my chances of winning any fight. So I disagree that I've got quite an aggressive nature, uh, which he didn't seem to accept at all. And he continued to barrage me with uh, quite a lot of questions. And uh, I, I was actually on prefect duty. And... Um, Sorry, I've forgotten where I was going with this. <laughs> Prefect duty. I've forgotten where I was going. I, I do apologise. That's quite embarrassing. Uh, but I, I'm going to I'm going to leave you on this. Um, have we got any couples in the room? <laughs> you and Ricky, congratulations. I'm sure it's shuff. Like when couples like. D uh, does anyone go on holiday quite a bit? Yeah. Well, I, I, I go on holiday every summer. And I have a friend that I go on holiday a lot with. Like, uh, one, one, week, one year I'll go away with his family. The next year he'll come away with mine. So it actually started off with my family. We went to Egypt. Uh, second year we went to Wales with his family is nearly the same. Um, <laughs> third year, back with my family, uh, we went on a cruise. Um, he didn't take me again after that. But uh, we were 17 on the cruise at the time, and like, sex was always very mischievous. And uh, on the cruise, uh, he got lucky. He, he met an American girl, and he said one night, Sean, I'm going to take her up to her room. Don't come in, which you know is obviously code for sex. Uh, but my parents were next door, and I can only think they must have heard him, because over breakfast the next morning, my father decided to raise the issue, and he said, "Boys, I don't mind having sex, just make sure you use protection," which I thought was a fair enough thing to say. But uh, it was like a buffet system, and my mum was away at from the table at the time. And she came and sat back down, and my friend went away. And I was red in the face, I was so embarrassed. But my mum put an arm around me, looked at me straight in the face and consoled me, and said, Sean, what are you embarrassed about? We know it's not you. <laughs> Thanks very much, you're in for a great night. Cheers, take care. <laughs>